Seriously, where do I even start with this one? The... All right, so. Ontario just announced today, uh, this is being recorded on Monday night, technically Tuesday morning. By the time it comes out, it'll probably be Wednesday, hopefully. God, I hope it's not Thursday, but hopefully Wednesday night. Uh, at which point in time, we would have already lived through the first day of what have just been announced as being the restart of lockdowns. Um, now, to this channel, the other stuff like dining and whatnot, we're not going to talk about that. That's not, that's not what this channel is about. This is about fitness. So, obviously, it's the gyms that we're really concerned about. Um, and, yeah. <laughs> to say that this is frustrating is an understatement. Um, but when it really comes down to how I feel about it, I suppose I'm of two minds about the subject. For one, I would kind of like this whole global thing that I can't mention on YouTube to just f right off already. I'm f done with it. That's not to say I'm out here just flaunting guidelines and shit. No, I'm adhering so that I could hopefully have this shit be done as quickly as humanly possible. That being said, I just... Some of these restrictions just seem so half-hearted and limp-dicked. But I'm not a lawmaker. I am a fitness professional. That's my whole thing. So I'm going to stick to my damn lane, shut my damn mouth on the other subjects, and just stick to what I know. What I do know is, I'm sure a lot of you out there are getting frustrated with doing home workouts, because when it comes down to it, it's the basic principles of progress when it comes to fitness are things like progressive overload. How do you progressively overload when you're stuck with a certain amount or type of equipment because you either don't have the space or the finances or both to accommodate anything more uh, uh, more extensive, more uh, hardy? You kind of just have to sit there and deal with it. There's methodologies to increase, you know, you know, volume and whatnot. But when we're looking at the very basic principles of working out and, you know, what elements achieve certain results, if you have a specific goal in mind, you might be kind of locked into a particular direction, type of workout, volume, intensity, frequency, that makes other forms of working out seem kind of f***ing pointless. So... I totally get the frustration that a lot of you out there are feeling right now when it comes to our very unfortunate predicament. <sighs> All that to say, despite the fact that I'm frustrated, and this is as much for me as it is for you out there, all y'all out there watching, yes, I'm frustrated, annoyed, disappointed. But since when have any of those emotions truly done shit for you? Like, really. Like, sit down, think to yourself objectively. When was the last time you feeling disappointed in some shit really fixed a goddamn thing? I'm gonna guess. F***ing never. And with that in mind, that starts to seem like wasted energy, doesn't it? I'm a firm believer that greatness is not something that is born. It is something that is made. And then it is proven over and over and over again. Greatness really is a product of consistency as much as it is truly exceptional performance. This particular moment is starting to seem a lot like one of those moments where greatness can either be proven or disproven. So I issue this challenge, not only to myself via this video, but to all of you guys out there. Let's get off our collective asses and not let this shit stop us. Let those of us out there with the greatness that we know we have in us, make use of it, prove it on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, and not let any of this bullshit really stop us. Perhaps we detour, deviate a little bit. So be it. But I'll be 
fucking goddamned if I'm just gonna let this shit bowl me over like some punk in the street. Not a chance. I'm not letting that happen. So the question is, are you gonna let that happen? This is the new year. A lot of people have resolutions. The question that you have to ask yourself if you're one of them, is this the end? Are you just gonna, ah, well, guess I'm done for the year. Three days in? I know that's not me. I refuse to let that be me. So, the fight is on against lockdown, against laziness, against uh, the severe impact this will have on mental health, against general health, against, you know, your worst instincts. This is war, man. I don't like losing anything. So, I'm not really looking to sit back and let this just win. With that in mind, might be worth mentioning that it might change some of the content that I had coming down the pipeline, or at least the ideas for some of the content. We shall see. Um, I want to make it as useful to you guys as humanly possible. So, of course, as always, if you've got some input as to what you'd like to see, some information you'd like to know that you feel like I might have or could get pretty easily, put it in the comment section below the video. Uh, of course, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching all my videos. I, every single one that you have watched that you will watch. I really appreciate you guys out there. Continue watching, continue coming to the channel, continue engaging and letting me know what you guys want to see so that I can help give you what it is you're looking for. I want to add value to your lives, not just suck up your time. So anytime you guys put in that input and let me know what you're looking for, give me some good guidance. Um, so I have some stuff coming down the pipeline, probably going to do some product reviews for not supplements. This time it will be for things that are actually like workout equipment, home workout equipment. So if that interests you, let me know in the comment section. Uh, and of course, stay shining because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place if we all shine together. Peace.